The most powerful apocalypse you can possibly get in game at the moment. Yes, that is correct. We are going to be looking at in this video an ascended apocalypse. It's definitely a champion that I've liked for a long time, and especially because he opens up a lot of possibilities. Whether or not you use a champion as a horseman enabler, uh, or you kind of use a champion by himself. He's an evade counter, he is immune to incinerate at some stages, disorient and bleed, so he has all those immunities he can access. And go cross fight, build some genetic code, and do a lot of damage. He also has quite a funky uh, signature ability, which I personally love and uh, do tap into, uh, as I do have a 200 signature uh, version of the champion, which I find incredibly fun. The idea that you can basically bench him for about two fights, come back, and find that you've built up um, a nice amount of regen back can be very handy for the likes of um, of incursions and so much more about this champion. Right, so we've kind of like neatly talked about that but of course this video is all about doing ascension i just i wanted to do this because i, I want to do ascension on champions that i personally like and i'm passionate about maybe i'll do some of the newer champions to the game but i like some of the classic ones just because well you know i i've been playing this game for a long time so you know they are important to me and also the same thing they're important to a lot of other players and we're going to ch ch chest out some stuff check out some stuff at the same time so we've got apocalypse here i'm running suicide masteries which does poise a little bit of a problem for recoil damage which is you know a bit of a nuisance but uh we're gonna like you know talk about that a bit more so also with the ascension you can see that with suicide masteries added to this uh um, whether my amplifiers we're looking at 8k uh, as a rank 5 6 star champion it's a very very nice very very spicy so what we're going to do is look at some gameplay with the champion non-ascended and go right into some ascension stuff so without further ado and without talking let's indeed run some footage so on screen right now you can see i'm kicking off a winter soldier fight so this is the unascended version i want you to have a uh, particular notice on certain things like crits so one thing to point out is that 8437 crit there's also gonna be another crit which will be the 5409 those are at this particular stage the kind of the big crit numbers the synergy that i am rocking with this champion is jabari panther strife cable and uh professor x god i couldn't think what the, the fourth one was there but that's basically the champions that are running with it and you can see we're at 35 hits and already the uh the enemy champion wind soldier is like pretty low on health do a little bit of a bleed there not sure it's really necessary but you can see 1k per tick on the bleed which is really nice and on the degenerate was oh, it the degeneration i can't remember if it if one is one one other but uh, yeah in any case good crits as well from there 20ks respectively expect those to go up now do bear in mind there's a synergy amplifying those particular um you know crit numbers on the specials but now we go and add some primordial dust. We ascend. We add that 22% attack and also a little bit to the health as well. And we start rocking and we start rolling. So there we go. Like there we are on some great, great damage um, as it is. And uh, look, we're getting some crits. We're getting some crits. 10k, 6.4k. You can see when I said about that, that 8,400 crit and also that 5,400 crit quit crit even you can see some differences right there it's amplified up as we put in our big sp2 and you can see 33k per crit it is very nice and very spicy and we're seeing a good amount of very nice damage so yes that's fantastic and a big sp1 to finish off hitting highs of 26k the champion as well is good for other content like do bear in mind if you are looking to apply things like the uh, the bleed it becomes difficult in something like labyrinth of legends which after a while your stuns basically become a little bit kind of meh uh, but uh, still the champion holds up with doing damage so it just depends like i think the recoil side of things does kind of push this champion more to as you can see my health bar is quite low and, and look this has been from the start like there's no kind of lost hits i'd have to rotate sp3s in order to kind of like minimize uh, my loss of health 
which is something that's going to be incredibly important, regardless of where you are in, in the game. And just like, you know, you've got to be careful. And especially if you're playing the long game with a champion, then it becomes a little annoying. So you've got to be incredibly careful about, uh, you know, recoil and suicide masteries and stuff like that. So you've got to be, you know, on point with that one. So I had to be kind of like just a little bit sneaky with this and just go like, okay, we'll just ease off a little bit and just finish off the champion. Nice. And the job is done. Moving on to something like uh, X Old Man Logan. Again, SP3 rotations are key for this one. So, yeah, that's what I'm uh, largely doing in order to, uh, you know, improve the way that I'm uh, taking this down. And this is the only way I kind of felt like, okay, well, we're going to SP3 rotate. Not exactly the most uh, interesting or fun way to do this. But, uh, look, you know, I can't do the well I can, if i well time the heavy attack but there's a lot of risk to reward with that one it's like is it big risk to small reward it just depends again on like things like rotation and stuff like that like i are you can i have seen people like do it where they just like time to be so close to do the heavy attack to put in but look it's always good when you've got that relic on the striker and in any case in order to save on any kind of recoil we indeed do a uh and also, like, the problem is you do have that stun that you throw off, which is going to be um, uh, minimizing each time. So, that, you know, you go like, okay, I'll get that stun from the part of the ability. But then it's like, oh, well, do bear in mind, it's only going to be on for a sh It's going to be going for a shorter duration each time you hit. And in case I don't think it's really necessary or needed because, you know, we're you know chopping down health on this champion. And it's nearly over. So that's kind of, like, good as well. Some good intercepts right there. And as long as you keep easy champions to like easy rotations and stuff, you can get, do stuff like this. I did get a bit kind of like too cocksure of myself. I'm like, nah, I'm going to throw an SP2. Which is like then seeing all that meaty damage. And that's great. And I think this is where maybe the non-suicide mastery version of the champion would be a great option. Because, look, you're not recoiling damage. And he's still doing a lot. A lot. So yeah, in a nutshell, I love the ascension that you can add onto this champion. I think it's really adding in more for the purpose of the debuff damage um which is going to be important but also like the way that the crits are we saw that the crits were going up by nearly 10k when it came to the sp2 and also just little bits here and there and i think that's one thing that's great about this champion if you like apocalypse you don't think there's going to be a seven star version then he's definitely a candidate to pick up pick up put up as being an ascended option uh, when you can reach champion at rank 5. But this is all down to your personal thoughts and uh, feelings. Would you ascend an apocalypse? Have you done it? Put it in the comment section. And uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching this video. Check out some other content located on screen. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye for now.